All right, well, I made an in interesting observation in available power capacity, and uh, here it is. Um, okay, so basically, the deal is a cold battery pack will yield less available power, and uh, a warmer battery pack will yield more available power. So, if you notice, right there, Uh, you'll see that little jump in power. Now, last night we had a cold snap here in Wisconsin where, and we actually had snow yesterday. It's, uh, yesterday was uh, May 14th, today's the 15th of May. Uh, we had snow yesterday, uh, and mind you, three days ago, um, we were in the backyard in the kiddie pool uh, on a nice 80 degree day enjoying the sunshine. That's Wisconsin weather. I've mentioned it many times in other videos how crazy weather we have. So anyways, cold snap yesterday resulted in uh, my battery pack because I park my car outside usually. Um, eventually you'll, you'll be able to get a nightly park in my garage after I'm done with my current project. But the result was a limited battery. In fact, uh, the regen limit just completely uh, came off right now as I started filming this. Um, and you can still see I still have an acceleration limiter, although that's probably due to my low range. We're on our way to the Pleasant Prairie Supercharger. Well, you might wonder, how the heck I got such an instant bump in, uh, in apparent capacity um, on the uh, trip meter? and why the car now thinks I will be arriving at the supercharger uh, with considerably more power, uh, if you can see, 15% um, uh, than I had, would have had originally. And that little jump there is the point where the battery pack limiter went from zero regen altogether to allowing me some regen. Uh, and I mean, it was almost synchronized perfectly. So this is how I'm my thought process is on explaining it. Now, as usual, with all things software related and Tesla motors, uh, no, we can't be 100% sure because Tesla won't tell us. They're like Apple where they have such a limit and restriction and grasp on everything on the car that they don't want the user or owner to be able to control anything. They want to hold on to as much control as they can. So I'm going based on my observations. And my observations are once the car decided the pack was warmed up enough on the freeway here, and uh, the, the range or available capacity estimates jumped up. So that was the difference between having uh, no regen and having regen at all. Is the warmer, the, ba the battery pack is warm now, and uh, or warmer, and now that regen's completely, uh, the regen limiter is completely gone. Uh, Apparently, I'm at good operating temperature. Vinny, can you please sit up, buddy? Vinny's going to be a doctor. So, um, which is just something interesting that you uh, can see. Uh, it's 52 degrees outside now, and it was in the 20s last night. And the car was baking in the sun. And uh, so, I mean, I mean, that's just just a real interesting something interesting to see is such a jump like like that uh, usually you'll see a jump like that if uh, you go down a real big hill or find some way to get a massive amount of regeneration which I was not able to and the trip gauge here also factors in um, elevation changes into it uh, which is what the little the little bumps here and there on the projected the projected capacity uh, or projected usage show like right here you'll see uh, a sudden little dip and drop well that's a big hill that I would have had to go up uh, requiring more power to make it up which in actuality I did require more power to make it up that hill um, although I did regen a little bit right there that was going from 40 miles an hour down to a dead stop at a stoplight where then I made a left hand turn and proceeded to go up a nice long hill and now I've been on the freeway ever since, and being on the freeway has warmed up my battery pack uh, at a considerable level. Um, and that's when the regen uh, became first became available. 
and uh, check that out. That's one of Amazon's new warehouses. Absolutely massive, and there's an even bigger one right behind it that people don't know about. I actually wish they didn't move here, because then I wouldn't have to pay taxes on my Amazon purchases. Anyways, um, I hope, uh, well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as I discover more new and interesting things, I will be happy to share them with you. See you later.